Who can any guys try weird beers? Okay, I'm Ed. This is my son, Zach. We're to Canadian guys trying weird beers. And today you can't have mine, but I'll kiss your dad. What? What? Is it Father's Day? No. But look at their dad. He's a kissably soft man. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you shouldn't be offering to kiss strange dads. Why not? Because it's weird. I'll kiss a dad. And I can't believe you didn't offer me out. Not that I would. Because you know I'm happily married for up to years. And that, that that's a that's part of why I, I didn't offer you up, yeah. I see. Okay. <laughs> I don't offer so goods that aren't on the market. <laughs> that's bad business. That's bad that's bad dad business. You can put me on the market, slightly used, it only smells a little. Okay. So we got beers. Why? Because beeriness is cheeriness, and we're here when you don't want an expert opinion. Which is uh, the only kind of opinion you get on the YouTubes and the TikToks and every other goddamn thing. You think you're experts on the, on the YouTubes and the TikToks? I don't think so. Some... So, in my opinion, we're the best of bad lot. I mean, sometimes there's experts. Like who? Like doctors and lawyers. Really? Yeah. Well, the legal eagle, I guess he's an expert, right? Because he's a lawyer. I mean, he's I... He's an actual lawyer. I didn't read through his bar exam. Apparently he's, he's reasonably successful. And I guess he does. I don't know why. I don't know. Now i got to learn more about the, the legal ego guy. <laughs> reasonably successful? So before we get into the beers, we've got the palate cleanser. And we're back to the tequila after a brief sojourn uh, into bourbon world. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pointless painting. Okay, so what? There's uh, there's a lesson learned. You can go too fast. Woof! Said the bishop to the actress. No. <laughs> Anywho, okay. So the first beer on our list of beers is called Valley Fog. It's from Cold Bear Brewing Company. Well, we live in the Ottawa Valley, so when, does it get foggy here? I don't know. Absolutely. Mm, I don't go out much. So, it just says Valley Fog. It just says Ottawa Valley Coffee Craft Beer. Oh, that's a place in our town. Ottawa Valley Coffee, where they sell craft beer. I don't know how they get away with it. Oh, yeah, they. you go in, you ask for a beer, but they got to serve food with it, so they give you... A, a grain of rice. That's some big brain thinking on their part. Anywho, so this is just, it looks like just a beer. They don't say anything about it. It doesn't say, oh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, have you have you tried to read it? <laughs> yes. It says crafting community. Does that mean they do quilting and uh, scrapbooking as well? Brewed with our friends at Ottawa Valley Coffee. This blonde, oh, it's a blonde. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Uh, this blonde was brewed with Earl Grey tea and Mexican vanilla beans to create a delicious London fog. How does a Mexican vanilla bean give you a goddamn London fog? Please riddle me that, Batman. Well, because there's no English vanilla beans. Oh. Anyway, it, they describe it as a beer hybrid. <clears throat> and then they got something about uh, Ottawa Valley Coffee, which is where we bought this beer. And... Uh, just your local caffeine dealer proudly serving blah, 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 bling, bling, blah. Uh, fresh beans roasted weekly. You only roast your beans once a week. You would never, you would never believe how often I roast my beans. Anywho. How often are you supposed to roast beans? Uh, it depends on how old you are. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, I work at a section of locally, uh, they also uh, sell locally handmade goods like uh, cookies and muffins and stuff like that. And that's all I got on this beer. It's a 5.5%. Oh, that's a good alcohol by volume. Yeah. Cold beer. I'm trying to remember if we've had cold beer. You think we remember, but, you know. I, I, I distinctly remember, and I, I don't know if, if this is the, uh, the what was it, the, the Martin Luther effect? Or, like, you, you, like, remember something that didn't actually happen? There's also Mandela effect. Mandela effect, yeah. <laughs> well, there's the Mandela effect. <laughs> the Martin Luther effect. 
<laughs> Whoops. I kind of remember yeah. having a dream. <laughs> anyway, enough of the Mandible effect. No, I, I, I remember us having a moment of reading Cold Bear as Cold Beer constantly. Oh, possibly. So we possibly have had a, a beer. Uh, the next one, which comes in a uh, slightly scuffed uh, can, is from Nita Beer Company. We know them. Yep. Uh, and it's one in a melon. Ugh. And it's a watermelon candy beer. Oh, no. Labeled for fun. Oh, there's no fun in a candy in a watermelon candy beer. Well, we'll strap in for more fun because it's 3.8%. 3.8? Oh, yep. my God. You, that can come out of the boobs of lactating mothers. That, then you can speed that to children. Uh? There's a vibe happening here. Okay. And the vibe says that we start with the melon. Oh, we're starting with the melon, man. The Melon Man. Do you know the Melon Man? Anywho, okay. Will you stop making weird noises? I'm not. You were. You were farting with your hands. Although, if you're going to fart, I prefer that that method. Yeah, pick your battles there. Oh, I, I, I expected more melon smell. That's like candy smell. I don't want candy in my beer. That's like, that's like confectionery smell. And it's got that look. Oh, oh, it, it looks like the, the Champagne. More yellow than I thought it would be. I thought it would be more red. Yeah, but it's not... The, more, it, more pinky. It's not urine yellow. It's some other, well, you know. It, yeah, it looks so... Uh, oh, that's, it even has the fizz of a Champagne. Yeah, that, it, that smells like watermelon candy. Mm, no, it smells like somebody pulled up a carpet. An old carpet. An old dusty carpet. Got pulled up. What kind of delicious old carpets have you been around? Oh, now I smell the candy. <laughs> well, I smell the sweetness. I smell something. Be a I'm sour. going out on a limb and saying this will be sour. Shall we... Uh, Let's do it. Shall we imbibe? Oh. 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 It's weird. This is not a beer. Sorry. That's... It's not, there's not enough beeriness to it. This is a, it's, it's a sour, it, 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 it's, it's a cooler. Don't drink the cooler, Hogan. I only get a scent of a beer after it's settled down a bit. I, I don't get the beer at all. It tastes like you're eating fruit that you don't quite know what it is yet, because, because your friends have tried to convince you to, to have a go at it. And you, you don't know your, your fruits and vegetables that, that well? Well, fortunately, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, taste like durian. Is there a durian beer? There's got to be a durian beer. Yeah, Absolutely. for masochists and people who hate themselves. It doesn't taste like melon. It's not super sweet, I don't find, and it's not super sour. It's okay. It doesn't. It doesn't fall into the beer category for for me personally. It doesn't taste like a beer. It tastes like uh, it tastes like one of those uh, coolers that all the kids love. Anywho, so I guess we should do the thing. It's Ugarino time. Holy crap. Oh. Wow. Oh. Oh. The flavor intensifies by a gazillion when you chug it. And this, my friends, is not a chuggable beer. Don't chug it. Oh, God. You're asking for a world of hurt and pain. Ugh. It tastes like... You remember that, that, that one death scene in uh, RoboCop uh, of the dude that, like, crashes into the, the like, like, like acid truck? The, the chemical stuff, and it's all yeah. melty, and he's, like, walking around? Yeah. It, it tastes like, like what that looks like. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It wasn't bad. It was, you know, nice... You know, he's sitting on a terrace on a hot summer's day. You have a couple of those. Perfectly fine. Not a beer, though. So, before we move on to the next beer, palate cleanser! Yeah. What we got? Oh. Oh, God, that melon is just sticking. As melon often does. You know, there's a John, uh, John Cougar melon head. Little ditty about Jack and Diane eat melon just as often as they can. 
It's a classic, folks. Trust me. Here we go. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? Uh. So now we're getting into the valley fog. Valley fog! Oh, that looks... The foggiest of valleys! Do, 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 do. Okay, is that good? Yeah, close enough. Close enough for grenade tossing. Whoa! Wow, that's got a lot of smell. Hold up, hold up. I, I need to take a second with this. This beer is odiferous. What the heck? That's got a lot of stuff going on. A lot of weird stuff. A lot of stuff from the Valley Fog. The artwork looks like they took a picture of like a deer in a fog in the valley. That's they obviously, they, because it's a craft beer, they obviously did it after their scrapbooking and their quilting. <laughs> you, you're so dead set on the scrapbook and the quilting, aren't you? It says crafting community. Oh, man. that It that, smells like spices. The smell changes every single sniff. One more smell. Can't really def put my finger on what it smells like, so I guess we might as well drink it. The fog berries taste just like fog berries. And the flugel berries just taste like flugel berries. And the bunion berries just taste like bunion berries. Ugh. Oh. You know, a bunion is not a growth. It's just like a bone sticking out. How's that, how's that, how's that better for... Uh, how's that any better for the palate? Because oh, it's not a growth. A growth is gross. Bone sticking out, that's just a thing. Bone sticking out is pretty gross. Okay, okay. but the thing is, it's not, a, it's not like a compound fracture where the bone... Sticks out of the skin. That's horrible. Right. But. But. It's still, like the bone's still sticking where it ain't supposed to stick. That's true. Like, though, it's probably uncomfortable. Do, a little bit disturbing. Do your bones stick out? <laughs> <laughs> I think we should move along. Okay, let's taste this, I guess. Whoa. What, the, what did they say was in there? Uh, Earl Grey tea, vanilla bean. Whoa. Mexican, it's the Mexican vanilla bean that's making it all wacky. The old gray tea is losing the battle against the Mexican vanilla bean. I'll tell you that. I okay. Whoa, hang on. I gotta take another another sip. I don't think uh, Jean Luc Picard would be ordering this beer. Uh, let's just put it that way. Oh, it's not hot. But it's still, I don't. Know, I'm trying to. Have I ever tasted Earl Grey tea? No. Yeah, how do you know? Uh, when was the last time you, you had tea? In in 32 years, I've never seen you have tea. I've had jasmine tea. When? Oh, way back when, when I was young and in college and experimenting. So... <laughs> <laughs> you, you party animal. <laughs> I was a wild one. So, the, the Valley Fog, it's weird like and it's completely different from anything else because like all of the taste hits you as, as the after effects all it is a genuine combination of earl gray and uh, this mexican uh, not mexican jumping bean mexican vanilla bean it's a really unusual flavor combination it's it's really interesting the, re the reason that I'm not crazy about it is because it hits the nail on the head so perfectly for the flavors that it's trying to do. Like So it, it's too like, much like Earl Grey and Mexican jumping bean? It says... No, Mexican <laughs> vanilla bean? Just say vanilla bean. But it, no, but it's a Mexican vanilla, be vanilla bean, which I'm sure has a different flavor to it. Otherwise, they wouldn't specify it as Mexican. It would just be another vanilla bean. Okay. That's my logic, and I'm you sticking to it. You have a good point, and that bothers me a little bit. <laughs> no, like, it, it does taste like vanilla and Earl Grey in a beer. I just, I don't want Earl Grey in a beer. <laughs> it's an interesting flavor. I, I, I would probably have it in, like, if I went to a craft beer place, and they said, hey, you want to try our Earl Grey Mexican jumping bean beer? And I'd say, yes. I don't get spice or wood... I do. 
I don't get woody spice or spicy wood. I don't. I get no combination of those two. Woody spice. Dancing at your table, ladies. Okay. Well, we tasted it. Now let's do the thing. It's Chugarino time. I get more of the beer when you chug it. Boy, oh, I also get more of everything else. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's a weird combination. I wouldn't chug this beer either. I don't think either of these beers are chuggable. So apparently, uh, some research was done in the, uh, the Mexican vanilla bean that grows on the, uh, the Tonka tree, which is where you get those big yellow trucks. Damn it. <laughs> I don't know if I, like, drink a, like, a six-pack of these on game night, but, you know, at a, at a, at a craft uh, beer place. Yeah. Trying it. Why not? Okay, so now that uh, we've tried the two beers... It's time to try the schmutz. Because I'm the intrepid beer explorer. And that's what I do. I mix the schmutzes from... Wow, there's a lot of beer left in it. I take the dregs from the cans of beer that we, uh, we've had. This is going to be weird. It doesn't look... No, it's not too sedimenty. Not, not a lot of goo or weirdness. And, uh, you know, not, goo? No, well, you know, the, the stuff that looks like the, the blob from the 19... Uh, 1950s. Was it 1950s or 1960s? The original blob. Anywho, okay, so Trippin' uh, uh, Beer Floor, I'm wearing a hat. I combine the, 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 the dregs of the two beers, and now I'm going to drink them so you don't have to. Intrepid Beer Explorer, he drink. does have a hat. I have a hat, and I'm drinking the schmutz. La 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 la. <laughs> we just found out the blob was... Uh, the original blob, which Steve McQueen was released in 1958. There you go, cinephiles. The winner of the Piston Cup? The who? No, that's Lightning McQueen. Sorry, go ahead. I'm so confused. <laughs> that, no, that was entirely a joke just for me. <laughs> that's good, because I didn't know it. <laughs> so I'm smitzing away on the thin ice of a new day. What's it up, daddy-o? No, not a good combination. <laughs> what, what, what did it do to your voice? <clears throat> it gave you a bit of the, a, a little bit of the Gilbert Gottfried. That's schmutz. It's no good. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Anywho, yeah, this schmutz. Uh, no, not good. Not good at all. You could voice a parrot. So, but now we got the. Uh, Movie roundup uh, review comparison thing. Did you do? What do you say? What do you know? How do you? Who do you spank? Oof. This one. This one took a lot of thinking over the last ten minutes. <laughs> a whole ten minutes. A whole ten minutes. And we're committed to quality here, folks. That's that's ten one minutes. By the way, <laughs> these beers they both do exactly what they say they do, and in some of those cases. It's something that is not done very often or has, or it's something that was really exciting, but I was still waiting for something to entice me about it. They're both really good as... But you did not find them enticing. Oh yeah, all I'll say, these are really, really good in, in what they do and they are very enjoyable, but they, some, for some reason, they did not get me i i was not hooked on what they were selling and that's why these get a pacific rim out of 10. wow a pacific rim out of 10. i i for some reason i i just i didn't like pacific rim as much as everybody else so pacific rim out of 10. yep so these are like gigantic monsters battling gigantic robots and you find them not enjoyable yes the because they they give like mech sized flavors. You're not mech sized flavors, man. There's nothing inherently bad about them. No, they're they're they're, they're two well known beers of weird flavors. Okay, we're getting the, the wrap up sign, so I guess that's it. We've done our thing. We've compared the stuff. We mentioned Pacific Rim, and 
Could I tell you who was in Pacific Rim? No. I just Elba. Oh, okay. Well, I just Elba and a bunch of stupid good lookings, I guess. And they, they do stuff. And That's they go, pow, pow, poo, poo. That's not to say that Idris Elba isn't, isn't good looking. God damn, that man is handsome. So, Ahmed, this is my son, Zach. We're two Canadian guys trying weird beers. I, Idris, wow. El, I, Idris Elba was the kind of dad that I could kiss. Uh, Idris Elba is, is confirmed to, to have offspring? Fuck yeah, I'm going to kiss that dad. <laughs> <laughs> After watching this video, Idris Elba is going to issue a restraining order. <laughs>